What up, y'all? It's the morning hustle with L'Oreal and Kyle Santillian. And yes, another day, another guest, man. She's been here before, but she's back. She's yes. doing big things and ending off the year with a bang. Woo. We got to give it up for B. Simone. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? I'm glad to be back. Yeah, of course, man. It's good to have you back, man. Thank you. I've been so good. This is um, the last date of my tour. So uh, I've been on tour with Wild and Out. I love it. Knocking it out with them. It's about 36 of us on stage at once. So it'd be (laughs) crazy. Mm -hmm. And then this, you know, the Still Standing Comedy Tour, it's my own tour. So our stand up on stage and it's just... I, I'm really proud of myself. That's yeah, crazy. That's how up. is that for you to be having your solo tour alongside the Wild and Out tour? I yeah. did end up catching a Wild and Out show. Yeah. So I know that that's not as much of a heavy workload because it's a 100%. bunch of y'all. Hundred percent. But still, it has to with the traveling and everything. Yeah. How is that? You're I like mean, a rapper. Y- yeah. Uh, <laughs> you with know, groupies and everything. No groupies. <laughs> Where y'all at? DM me. <laughs> I'm waiting on y'all to pull up. Ain't nobody hitting on me. It's just work and back home. Yeah. But I love what I do. I mm-hmm. love what I do. I was just talking to Pretty V um, early this morning. We talk almost every day. And um, just being on stage with peers that I look up to, the DCs, and even Nick Cannon, how yeah. he's had longevity in this industry is just right. mind-blowing to me. Like, right. Well, I'm 34, and Wild and Out, the first episode of Wild and Out came out when I was 15. That's Damn. crazy. 15 years old. That's crazy. I'm sitting here watching it on TV, not knowing, you know, two decades later, I'm going to be on the show. Right. So, you know, it's a blessing. And I just love, love, love doing stand up. And I a love good, it. consistent check because you know that. Yeah, that, that residual. <laughs> that residual be it. coming in. To, sometimes it'll be, be $50, sometimes it'll be $0.50. Cent. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I'm cashing it. Yeah, you know? no, that's right. Yeah, so. What's the best part from your perspective just about doing stand up in general? Like, what do you love about it the most? You know what? It's the hardest art form I've ever done. So every time I do it, it challenges me. Mm. So it shows how brave I am. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I am brave. Like, this is crazy. I'm really about to go on stage and try to make these people yeah. laugh right. and hoping they laugh. I'm like, I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I can go back to doing hair. I don't have to do this, <laughs> right. you know? So it challenges me. I did, I've done music. I've done rapping. I've been on stage with everybody yeah. else and done all these other art forms. But to me, um, stand-up is the hardest art form. Because yeah. you're just up there with By just yourself. your words. Yeah. And, By yourself. And people yourself. be buying tickets to just look at you. I'm like, are you a fan or a heckler? Right. Like, <laughs> smile, please. Yeah. You know, so uh, it, it challenges me, and it... um it shows how brave I am. Has yeah. that ever happened? Because, like, I actually saw you get booed today. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think that counts, right? Because it came from oh Alton my, Walker Alton when you walked Walker. in the door. Yeah. He's actually, I always give him uh, his flowers because he's the first person to push me to get on stage. Yeah. He was like, you need to get on stage. He took me to a little hole in the wall. He's like, if you really about that life, pull up Thursday at this address. And I pulled up. And no I did it, way. and I was like, you know, that was the first time I actually did stand up. He loved to encourage somebody because he tried to put <laughs> uh-huh. me on the deal. Say, I'm like, Alton, never. You would never do it because I booed somebody before, so oh, I know my karma coming. My karma coming. That's why I asked you. I'm like, glory be to God. Happen. Glory be to God. I never been booed. <laughs> Niggas have. De- <laughs> <laughs> you good? It's I'm okay. Sorry. They definitely looked at me like. Okay, where's the joke? Like, it's coming. Hold on. Let's look for it. So not only the stand-up, yeah. right? You got a new podcast this year yes. as well. Talk about this new venture. Yes, cause... let's try this again. Just about resilience, <laughs> pivoting, never giving up. Trying again. Whether you done been through a failed marriage, a miscarriage, a breakup, a whatever, a failed business. Just mm-hmm. trying again. And, um... It, it, I'm, I'm a prime example of that in my career. A yeah. podcast that didn't work out for you at the end? Yeah. The one, I, yeah. I tried again. But you know, you know what I mean? what's crazy about that? Because I was in a situation where I did a podcast with a friend and it didn't work yeah. out in the end, right? Yeah. Do you feel like the business is what really separated no. y'all? No, no, no. I, I've had uh, business partners for years, years, years. I've been working with one of my friends for five years. Um, it's just, it wasn't aligned, you yeah. know? So I'm glad to do this on my own, on my own two feet with God and him leading me into the people he's called me to. Right. You know, I change people's lives every day through him. Now, it's not me, my own will, but um, it's a really, really powerful platform that I I, I don't take lightly. Is it easier for you to do it by yourself than you it is You know what's crazy? Phone? No. Because when there's more people, you can kind of sit back and like, woo. They taking over the questions. When it's just you and them interviews, people looking at you like, what's the next question? You're yeah. like, well, you didn't answer the last one. Uh-huh. So I don't know where to go. <laughs> it's like, where are you?
you from? <laughs> Texas. Okay, do you want to elaborate? Right. Right. Yeah, we understand you know, that yeah. very much. Yeah. It's, it's very, when there's more people, you can bounce off of each other, but when you by yourself, it's on you. So yeah. it's challenged me as an interviewer. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there's another challenge. You brought it up earlier. Yeah. And you said that guys don't really approach you. This is something that went viral. A lot of people have been talking about it. So when you see comments and what people have to say, because yeah. I mean, we all read yeah, a comment yeah, yeah. or two. It might yeah. make us mad. But, like, do you look at that and be like, uh, maybe I should change this approach? Or, no. Do you feel like maybe you need to approach a guy? I do approach men. Okay. okay. All right. And what Talk happens? About it. Like, what happens Nothing. in that regard? <laughs> really? I think, oh, you so funny, little sis. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I am trying to have sex with you. I'm like, yes, <laughs> Wait, but how direct? Because sometimes, because men, we don't Y'all take it so the same dumb. way. Right. Yes. So, so here's oh the thing. My God. If it if it's not direct. No, Kyle, I'm not done ringing the bell. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. If it's not direct, it may go over a man's head. Like, you know what I'm saying? But so you women know like what? to be subtle with hints. <laughs> yeah, and men, I, I definitely am like to be subtle, and I definitely just put it out there. And if he don't bite, he's not the man for me. Because I want a man that's very alpha, assertive, knows what he wants, mm-hmm. and is looking for a long-term relationship, a wife. Because I don't think that's the want. same thing, though. To be honest with you, like what I'm saying is, he could be that guy that you just mentioned, but he just didn't get the hint. He right. didn't so recognize. Like the alley- He's not a risk taker. <laughs> <laughs> Take the risk. I will say, like, uh, like. You literally have to write things out for a man like, it's me you I should be dating. Like, yeah. I, like I want you. to have sex with you. <laughs> yeah. but you. Okay, so how did that work with the baby? Oh, I love John. Because hey, John. Were you I'm joking or did you really have a crush on him? I never really understood. Yeah, you know what's crazy? I talk about this on my podcast. People are like, you're so good at marketing. I'm like, I market my truth. Yeah. So it, I did have a crush on him, yeah. but it turned out into a whole marketing thing that I just started running with. But yeah, it started off as like, this nigga fine. Yeah. Like, ooh, he's so fine, you know, and it's and I ran with it. But I think that's the easiest thing as creatives and um, just artistic people. Just market your truth. Right. Like, whatever is true for you in that season of your life, talk about it on your platform so yeah. you don't have to keep up a facade and, you know, keep a storyline going. Yeah. My storyline is my life. Right. Yeah. You know, so. But it did work out, and y'all did end up in similar spaces numerous times. Oh, my God. So we... you ain't never put your hand over on his lap oh, and try yeah. to caress it a little. <laughs> I'm like, come on now. Come on, Jonathan. But nothing ever came of it. No, strictly platonic. That's friends. So Still crazy. friends to this day. Four year friendship. Maybe yeah. you just got to put the pussy on the side hey, burn. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> That's yo. what Nikki said. Nikki said to do no, it. No, you got to no, be that no. blunt sometimes. Like, hold on now. I'm going to take me into church to see if you start sweating in there. Yeah. yeah that's well, funny. I do feel like, too, though, when it comes to the internet, you get attacked a lot. Even though you get a lot of love and yeah. support, people pick on you. Yeah, I think everybody does. Though. Yeah. And with being a celebrity, being in the limelight, it's, it's always that little 10% that, you know, is they going to have some negative. Mm-hmm. How do you deal with those things? Because some people, we see they shut down, they shut their social media down, they no. take their comments Heck off. No. You just no. they brush it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely mm-hmm. not. I know what God has called me to do. I know what he's called me to do. I mean, they they threw stones. They killed Jesus. They so why you think Braylon Greenfield going to be any different? Yeah. Right. You, you, you're not even a savior of the world. Ooh. Right. And you're Come just a regular now. old human. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, no, I think we, I have my human moments because I do want to be seen. Mm-hmm. I feel like as a human nature, we all want to be seen for who yeah. we truly are. And I believe, I know for sure, shout out to my last podcast, that I'm a great person. <laughs> I believe right. I'm a great person, you know? So um, when people don't see that, it can be frustrating, but Absolutely. you got to hone in on what God called you to do. Yeah. If yeah. those people don't get it, he didn't call me to them. That's right. There's a million women writing me messages every day about how I changed their lives. I got to focus on that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so I'm proud of myself. I'm I'm resilient, and that's exactly what LTTA is about. Let's yeah. try this again. Yeah, got well, my neck. Again. LTTA. I Let's try that. this again. I love get you up. speaking to truth and speaking to inspiration. And the and, Lord. And the Lord. Lord, and the fact that you're so open about the things you're dealing with, not just with you, also with your family. And yeah. I saw recently you posting about some of the trials and tribulations your sister went through yeah. oh my with the God. BBL yep. surgery. Yep. For the people that might not be yep. familiar, what was her experience and what were you trying to share oh in that message? Oh my goodness. Um, it's so crazy. Me and my sister are total opposite. So I think a lot of my comedy came from making fun of myself. Mm-hmm. Like, I got a gap. I got a mustache. I got, <laughs> I got a gut. Whatever is my physical you know, flaws to society, I make fun of. She's the opposite. She wants to go get that 
that's a fix. She got veneers. She got a BBL. And now we're looking a decade later. Well, I was just with her at the dentist yesterday. She's trying to get her veneers taken off. Wow. Mm. She's trying to find a doctor to fix her body. Mm. That all these things that in the moment you make permanent decisions for a temporary feeling. Mm. And I just encourage any woman out there, anybody, whether it's a woman or a man, make the decision for you. I'm not against surgery. I'm against doing it for a trend. Right. Trends change. Mm-hmm. Right. The Kardashians that took their ass out, now everybody want to be skinny again. Mm-hmm. You know, Kim made the BBLs big when she got, when you know, had the curves and stuff. And now, almost a decade, 15 years later, they're taking it out. They so, were doing shots for ass. Now they're doing yeah, shots of those. Get, that. Yeah, yeah. What? Because uh-huh. I was doing shots of those. You yeah. hear me? Trying to get skinny. Me too. You yeah. know, I'm like, but <laughs> and it worked. And it worked. And I don't regret it. Yeah, me maybe. either. <laughs> <laughs> and I still got the plug. <laughs> if you need it, hit me up. I'm like, I need a little, I need a little more shot. (laughs) You know, but I encourage women to not do something that's trendy. I have a whole video on my YouTube. The YouTube is The B Simone. If you type in that BBL, uh, we did a whole YouTube about it. Just sitting there talking to her about it. And she, she standing up the whole YouTube. Couldn't even sit down. It was Mm. a little bit after she got it. But um, like I said, a decade later, she's like, I just wish I had a smaller hips. I wish I had a smaller. She wished she was back to her normal size just because it's not in trend no more. Don't change based off of a trend. Change based off who you truly are. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I just encourage any woman to think think about it. Yeah. It's, it's a long-term effect that can have effect on not just your body, your your physical, but your mental. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, so it, it was difficult for her. It yeah. was really Obviously, difficult. we know these surgeries are not safe for, with all these people. You've experienced a loss. Yes. Pe- a my lot God. of my friends my lost God. her sister. My God. You know, and I just feel like the research that women, are they're not really researching yeah. these doctors yeah. and these doctors are lying. Yeah. Sending DMs like, hey, yep. we'll give you a free BBL. Yep. Or a post. You- mm-hmm. and, and it's just like, man, when I experienced it, R.I.P. to Jackie, that's my baby. Um, um, R.I.P. Jackie. Mm-hmm. My baby, my baby. Mm-hmm. Uh, but my sister, when I went with her to get her surgery, thank God I went with her. She's supposed to go with a friend. I went, they treated her like she was chopped liver. It's mm. so crazy how, and there was tens and 15 and 20 women coming down the stairs and bleeding and canes and here, take it. It was like a assembly line. They make it oh, like, like an assembly line. line. Yeah. Oh my God. And threw her in the Uber and. Uh, she, oh. was, she was screaming coming down. The, I said, that's my sister. Oh. And the nurse, she's like, I've, I've just never seen this before. I don't understand why she's screaming. Like, I've never experienced this before. No. That's crazy. And I'm like, wait, what? They handed me a piece of paper, gave me my sister in a wheelchair and said, have a good day. Whoa. Wow. So now I'm the nurse. I'm the caretaker. I'm putting her in the Uber. The Uber's driving five miles an hour. And they didn't even tell you what to do. They just Nothing. handed you a they paper. Handed me a sheet that's of paper. insane. It's, but it's that normalized in this culture so they don't take it. And then we called the emergency room. She passed out. She bleeding. I right. called it. And they're like, well, I mean, she got a BBL. Like, what do you want us to do? Like, this was her choice. Basically, was the energy they gave me. Until the man, one of the uh, drivers, the ambulance driver, knew who I was. Mm. His whole demeanor changed after he knew it was B. Simone. So oh, I can only imagine God. what girls are going through that aren't celebrities. That right. aren't, you know, can't make a post and right. get help or whatever. So... It was very traumatic. It yeah. was traumatic. And I don't I don't wish it upon any any woman for a trend. Yeah. You know, so I encourage Ooh, you ladies, just please. think about it. Cause yeah. maybe in fifteen years it might be back to Aaliyah bodies and right. skinny right. Maya bodies and don't nobody want boobs and you know, all the things. So don't change your body based off of a trend. And yeah. that goes, the body you got. And that's dead serious about that, but on the man's side too, because dad bods are coming in style. Uh, so. I doubt they will ever be back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I remember the dads, baby. Let's go. You no. do like a little good. <laughs> no. I like, no, thank I do, you. I can do a little like, ooh. Oh, no, no, thank you. <laughs> well, you know, you have um, your spiritual journey. You've opened up about yes. that as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I wonder if you met a man at your church, no. would you date him? Yes, I would. I would. But I thought you were asking, have I met a man at church? No, I haven't. Walk up to me, y'all. <laughs> Come pray for I'm, me. So this is what my thing is against dating people at church. Okay, what? I'm not changing my church, okay? And I right. don't want <laughs> your ass there if mm. we not. Something happens, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I've been against stuff like dating people at church okay. or that I work with. I would never okay. do that. 
because I don't want to run. I often. But if it doesn't work, you, you don't want I'm that saying? awkward chaos in the workplace. Because then you got to sit in a different pew now. Yeah. I got to change my seat. Now I got to watch, be a bedside Baptist and only watch from home. Right. Like, watch it on one? YouTube. So I think, like, you also got to be careful yeah. in where you meet these men. Yeah, I would definitely date a guy at church. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, well, I guess the men at church yeah. pull up. I, mean, I know they be wanting you know to talk guy, to you. Girl. There's no way. You know what? Men do not approach me. I think they that do that's not DM crazy. me. People are like, oh, like I was literally on the phone with Funny Marco yesterday. He was on the phone with me and me, and he's like, why are y'all single? I'm like, I don't know. And then I asked him, I said, well, oh, if you think we're so great, why haven't you tried to date us? You know, I'm ain't like, he dating Lala? I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> don't get me that. But he's your peer. He's probably looking at you like a sister. Like... No, what he said, he was like, well, I mean, uh, I feel like maybe you're out my league. I was like, well, Marco. I don't know. But would you date him if he <laughs> no. asked you? See? <laughs> <laughs> but you just want him to ask anyway? Yes. Like. I'm saying, why do men not ask? Like, I'm going to be real because they think you're going to roast them. No, they uh, don't. Got to. I am not. You know who is like a roaster? Like Jess. Like, I would be scared to date Jess because she's going to go But in. she got a man. She, right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And she stay with a man. But. Jess stay with a man. I'm like, she is always in love and it's so inspiring. And it shows me, like, I can't be that girl in this industry, yeah. be a comedian, and have a man. Like, don't I don't do want to be a part of your stand up set. I can see that That's being a Oh, for sure. sure. You're going to be all up in my jokes. Yeah, now. see, nobody, nobody yeah. wants that. I ain't going to say Brian from down the street, <laughs> but I'm going to say my ex. But I have heard that there's a, I'm sorry, I have heard that a lot of beautiful women, like women that guys are like, yo, she's incredible. Yeah. They get the least approaches. Maybe because I don't believe, I think her DMs got people just nobody she would date. Because there's no way. It's people with cats on their page and no profile picture. (laughs) It's not, I'm like, are these real people? Are these people that stay in their mom's basement? Like, this is giving creep. Because, like, I say stuff like that, too, but, like, realistically, a lot of guys try to tell us just no guys that I Yeah, there's nothing in my DM. I'm telling you. I go through this all. So what's your type? Physically, yeah. Well, we well that's the least. That's, I mean, that's negotiable. Or whatever. whatever. Physically is negotiable. Okay. So just somebody that is on the path. He knows his purpose. He knows his calling. He's focused on his purpose. Oh, that's that's it right there. Uh, a lot of heathens running for around. Sure. Here. Okay. For sure. For <laughs> sure. And that's why God is protecting me. Yep. I truly believe that. God is protecting me from a lot of that's people. That's right. A lot that's of people. Yeah. Um, uh, definitely not just uh believes in God, but has a relationship. Yeah. There's a difference. You know, I, I'm going on that journey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um. There's just so many things. Like the good, of course, the good characteristics. I, I have a whole list in my phone. <laughs> mm-hmm. I want to hear oh, it because I think when you, see. maybe I when you speak it, it's then that's existence. when you're receiving Girl, I it. always speak it. Well, we want to hear Where it on the Morning Hustle that's Show. That's right. Okay, let me okay? see. Okay, because I feel like he's listening to us right now. He saw it. your bracelet and was like, nah, I can't rock with her. That's my uh, listening. Uh, <laughs> you like, see diamonds? Oh, she want a Christmas gift? <laughs> he going to hit you after Christmas. Right. He's going to hit you in March after Valentine's Day. For somebody just to be in my life, somebody that I just believe is a good person, if you don't have these qualities, I don't believe you're a good person. Okay. Honest, spiritual, loyal, empathetic, respectful, and you have integrity. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have that already, you can't even be my homegirl. Mm. Yeah, I like that. This is just a good person Mm -hmm. across the board. Okay. Right? Um, These are the behaviors I need to feel loved. Okay. Okay? Great communication, leadership, romantic, show up healthy in conflict, support my career, and um, you have to see me and acknowledge me, like validation. These are, I love this list. Okay. These are fair. This okay, wait, how, now now you're moving no. down. There we go. No. Okay. That's it. And oh, then these it. are the, the toppings. The, this is a, a thing I do with my relationship coach. This is her, like, uh, thing. But, um... Spicy Mati. These are the toppings. These are negotiable. Okay. The toppings are always negotiable. If you ain't got the good person list, I shouldn't even be on a date with you. That's right. Mm-hmm. So we shouldn't. We don't need to get to the toppings. Okay. If you don't have empathy. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. So toppings: tall, pretty teeth, in shape, good skin, and chocolate. That's the finish. <laughs> wait, wait. That's the last list again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanted to hear that last. Oh. That's, so, that, did, I, did I hear that? Did I hear that? Did I hear that? Why is that always on every girl's list? But yeah. toppings are because negotiable. Because little men toppings are, are angry. Negotiable. Toppings are negotiable. Yeah. So if, he, if he tall, sexy, brown skin, pretty teeth, but he's not respectful, I can't talk to you. Right. Yeah. If you got all these things and you don't have great communication, you're not my type. Do you care about kids? You know what? <laughs> Technically, that is, I keep looking at this picture. That looks just like Jackie to me. For real? Yes, it keeps making so me emotional. It looks I'm just sorry. like her. Wow. 
Twins. Um, twins. Mm-hmm. Um, do I care about kids? I mean, I'm open to to dating a man with kids. Yeah. I'm open to it. But my prayer has been... You put that in the side Right, ones. let me... No key. <laughs> I guess it's negotiable. It is negotiable. It's yeah. negotiable. I feel like he listening and he coming. He's he on his way. Let me put this energy out He's into the whole way. world. He could be in... How long do you make him wait for it to have sex with him? I have not had sex in two years. Really? So I have never dated a man, the woman I am today. So I don't know. Wow. So the, what the, happened to The two woman years who ago? I am today has not ever, hasn't dated yet. So I don't know how I would date. Two years ago, we would have been busting it open. Yeah. Two years but, ago, you had your spiritual awakening, so to speak, or yeah, what happened? Yeah, it was um, more relationship outside of religion. Okay. I, I've always had religion. My dad is a pastor. Mm-hmm. I always went to church, pray before you eat, pray before you go to bed. God, thank you for the, just rituals, just, but no relationship. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a difference between relationship and religion. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I can believe in something all day. That doesn't mean I know it. I believe Beyonce exists. I don't know her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I believe she she exists, but yeah. I don't have a relationship with her. That's right. It's the same thing with Jesus for me. So now having a relationship, spending time with him, intimacy with him, my life has just changed drastically. Mm-hmm. You know, so I haven't dated a man since I've rededicated my life to Christ. Mm. Yeah. So I don't know what that would look like. Well, it's, he's going to take time because it took you all these years to I make the mistake. Right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's going to take a little bit of time yeah. for you to undo him. To undo you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, listen, so. I I know that you're going to find your king. Thank you. Yeah. You're talking. Are you in a relationship? He might I'm be not short. in a relationship right now, that. but I'm smiling and I felt because I'm going through a similar situation. Like okay. that's how I am. I'm my really. Oh, oh, we forgot you were here, Kyle. No, 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 no. That's fine. I'm just. <laughs> I'm using everything in my power to wish short brothers on you no, both. No, 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 no. God, no. please no. lean down with a short no, brother. No, they reached out and done my life already. Rain down. Rain down. Short men on these queens. I know about three <laughs> short men that I want to just jump off a cliff. Okay. AKA a sidewalk right now. But um, the baby not too tall. And no, was, he's ooh, not. He's still fine. He's, he's, he's fine. Not. There you yeah, go. Yeah, but it's the same thing. It's just you know getting an, an awakening. My relationship with God is strengthening Good. Jesus. Good. You know, yeah. and that's it. So I do think that when you do that, your standards change. Yeah. The people you surround yeah. yourself with change. Your pr- I, Priorities, yeah. Literally, my whole a bunch of people got got lost. You know when they be like, "I'm not taking no this person with me." I ain't got nobody to drop this year. Amen. (laughs) Amen. All gone. But many many a years, I had to be like, "No, I can't talk to this person after this." Uh, I don't have to do that no more. My circle tight. My yeah. people's is strong. So I that's why that. I wish you well Thank on, you. on yeah. your, you Thank know, you. what you got going on, your yeah. spiritual journey. It's but I know, I know it's thing. coming. Yeah. I know it's coming. Our, our tall kings okay. are coming. Okay, I, re- I wish that that's coming. Tall I wish that that was coming, y'all. <laughs> Let me ask you, you're so open with your spirituality yeah. and your journey in that space and which what you do for a living with stand-up comedy. Mm-hmm. And what Do you experience backlash sometimes from church people? You know what I mean? With your lifestyle in terms of your career? Yeah, I do. I do. Like, oh, why are you still cussing? Bitch, give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've been on Jesus for 10 months. I've been cussing for 20 years. Hold on now. Yeah. Let me see if Jesus works. <laughs> let me see if Jesus let me, works. Let me see if he works. Kurt Franklin curses. I think it's okay. <laughs> does, yeah. Yeah, he does. He does, he does sure. nigga. But, yeah. Um, I done been to these gospel concerts, been backstage. I'm like, is this a future? <laughs> Let's like, like that, huh? Anything but a Is drink. A Girl, drink? That's Y'all crazy. Crazy. I, I ain't gonna lie. No drinks though. Yeah. They didn't have no drinks yeah. at the one I was at. I'm like, y'all be up there drinking. Little dry, wine. Bad little Jesus juice back no, there. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm being funny, but um, yeah, I think it's it's a journey. It's a journey. People want you to change. God changes us from the inside out. Man mm-hmm. wants us to change from the outside in. So people see stuff and they're like, oh, this is a good Christian by what they're doing. Yeah. Their hearts are not pure. That's mm-hmm. right. God is looking at the heart. You can do all the right things, and He's gonna say turn from me. I don't know you. Right. Like, I gave to the poor. I did it. But your heart wasn't right. That's right. So I'm not worried about doing the things. I'm worried about building my relationship with God and he will naturally change my heart mm-hmm. and the things will fall off. Yeah. I won't even want to do certain things. And mm-hmm. that's happened with my sobriety and my celibacy journey. I've been sober for two, two years and celibate for two years. Wow. And it, it hasn't been... Oh, see, I'm still sinning over here. Yeah. I'm drinking. <laughs> I'm, I'm, dealing, I'm dealing with idolatry. 
ministry right now. Yeah. I'm, I, maybe I'm not drinking, but I'm over here dealing with praising social media, mm. putting social media before God. So it's like, what are you dealing with? Yeah. You, oh, I don't drink. I don't do this. Yeah. You, you have a jealous, envious heart, though. Mm. So you sinning in some type of way. Right. You know what I mean? So I think people look at the exterior and see all these things. Somebody that is drinking and a drunk could have a deeper relationship with God than somebody who's sober. That's real. Depending on the heart. That's, That's real. You know, so That's I don't real. look at the our outward exterior. I'm just, I know what God has called me to do. And he's gave me, given me, excuse me, this platform to ultimately, you know, help and call people to him. I and love that's it. just what it is. Did so. you cut some it. people off because of that though? Because you know how some people like, they're trying to force you to drink. Like I no, got, I they have don't people. Play with me. I My have friends people. don't do that. No, no. Yeah. I'll be the ones like, I right, y'all, I'm sober. You take a shot. Like yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm turning them up. You know, I'm like, do you? You drink around me. You smoke around me. You do crack around me. I'm oh, whoa, crack. okay. Now, now. <laughs> hold on now, be Simone. Hold on now, be Simone and turn into see Simone. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I don't judge nobody around me because I've been there. I've done all the things. There's nothing that somebody can be like. I'm going through this. I done been there. You know. Yeah. So it just it takes time. So once you cut out the liquor, did you add more? showers because I know you have <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny to me um, no I didn't <laughs> you know what's crazy my, the other day I was uh, with my sister we was running around whatever and I crashed on the couch I'm like see this is what I be talking about I've been running around all day I'm not taking a shower I'm drained yeah. I'm going to sleep yeah. I will take a shower in the morning y'all niggas I keep saying the N word yeah. excuse me y'all have to be hey, me Franklin me, me, me. says it we said it's okay y'all, y'all I'll be acting like, I mean, some people do. Some people take four showers a day. That's not me, baby. Yeah. I'm clean. I'm fresh. I smell good. I look good. You did smell good when you came you, in here. I, I'm When's great. the last time you... Last night. <laughs> <laughs> but since I took a shower last night, I didn't wake up this morning and take a shower. Right. I'm not doing I got in the bed clean. What do y'all think I was doing in my bed for I get hours? that. That's why we grow up. You take a shower sometimes. before bed or in the morning. Which yes, one's it going to be? But see, people was disagreeing with that. Yeah. No, I, I take a shower at night. Then I take a shower in the morning. Then I run my errands and take a shower. Then I pee and take a shower. I don't do all that. I do. I'm not going to lie. I take a lot of showers. But I think because when you're asleep, sometimes you sweat. Girl, that's you. Sometimes. People. <laughs> I'm talking about people. Uh-uh. You didn't never have a dream and you got a little sweat or no? If I sweat in my dream, I'm getting up and putting on my clothes. <laughs> I ain't working out. <laughs> if I have a crazy. sweat bead on my forehead and I wake up, I'm wiping it off and going on. Yeah. <laughs> All Look. these six showers a day, I don't do that. I, I'm sorry. I'm clean. I smell good. I don't have no issues. I ain't got no BV. I ain't got no <laughs> STI, ST nothing. You like so. I it's feel fine. great. Yeah. And yeah. I smell good. There you go. Look, man, we wish you the best, oh, man. Shower you. or no shower. Yeah, You're doing okay. your thing. Now, don't play me. I'm <laughs> we down here in the dirty. Right. No, no. <laughs> maybe that's why I'm single. Cause I'm just, <laughs> or maybe just lie about it if you're not going to say that okay, you took a shower I, this I morning. I take six showers a day. Yay! There you go. There you go. Come get her, fellas. That's All so right. stupid. That but, poom poom is fresh out the shower. <laughs> it's fresh now. Don't play with it. For the people that might want to close out 2024 with you, man, you're closing out some shows in Atlanta at the end of the year. So, Let so the people excited. know how they can meet up with you there. Yes, you guys, Atlanta Comedy Theater. Theater. I will be there December 27th, two shows that uh 27th, two shows the 28th. You can get tickets at officialbsimones.com. And yeah, my brother Brandon Lewis and uh Jay Anderson are opening up for me. Nice. Atlanta natives. So they'll be there. And yeah, we ending the, the year out right. You're gonna get some motivation. People come to my shows, they laugh and they cry. Mm. I love so that. it's gonna be a blend of just my life, my story, my testimony, and inspiration. Yeah, that's Wait, what's you, up. Do you have anything else coming uh for next year? Yes, actually, um, I'll go back on tour next year. Okay. So I tour every year um, with uh, um, my opener, Brandon. Thank you. And then um, I'm working on the app. So nice. this mm. has been in the works. Oh, my gosh. The LTTA app, which is going to be just a huge hub and production company for just women empowerment. I want to produce shows on there and just give other women the opportunity to have a voice on this platform. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's That's coming next up. year. I have an idea for you. Don't kill me Come when I on. say this. What? It's not... <laughs> It's a you line of soap. On the mic? <laughs> a line of soap. <laughs> okay. So we know that. That's funny. Remember, I should do that. Remember the, thing with, remember, remember the thing with the book? Yes. Why don't you have that person on as a guest to your show? The per No. No? No. That was a bad that was idea? That in 2019. I, see, but here's the thing. Because you didn't know about it, right? Right, right, right. You say, oh, you say I'm the graphic designer that... 
Because I'm confused at what I, I'm saying the person I got is stolen. Oh, the Just to give a little or... opportunity. Yeah, maybe. no. no. <laughs> you sued me. <laughs> you sued me. You wasn't trying to hear nothing I had to say. Because you didn't even know about what? that. What? No. Why would I crazy. green? I'm famous. Why would I green light something that was yeah, stolen? Yeah, but now I just feel like you have chat GPT that writes whole books and stuff like it, that. What's even crazier is if we would have paid 99 cents, we would would we would have owned it. Are you kidding me? It was literally a p- template on Pinterest. It was literally a template on Pinterest. My graphic designer took the template and was like, oh, out of 80 pages, four pages were the template? So how would I know that? I'm looking at the book like, this is lit. Run it. Yeah. Well, well I'm not researching the templates. Nah. <laughs> so, you know, the graphic designer, I couldn't do nothing with 99 that. 99 I mean, cents. 99 cents. Mm. All he had to do was pay for the template. So how much did you end up having to pay? <laughs> Hey. Damn. Really? I made a million dollars off that book. So <gasps> they wanted they cut. Oh Damn. my God. God covered me. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. They got yeah. enough show. They ain't yeah. coming on another yeah. They got enough yeah. show. Yeah. 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 Bad idea. Bad yeah. idea. You want to come Bad. on a podcast? Absolutely not. Yeah. You got your check. Go make a podcast. I know that's right. right. I just invested in your next business. You sure yeah, you did. did. It is. Yeah. Yeah. It is. <laughs> right. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. So, and that was what? To, and it's so crazy. You see how we still talking about this? Yeah. It was 2019. But I feel like, years. you know what? Get it out the way. Some people didn't hear what no, happened. No, I, know, then, I yeah. understand that, but I'm saying it goes back to yeah, like... Yeah, I hate it, it too. Yeah. yeah. I hate when people say love and hip-hop. And so, like, <laughs> so trust me, I'll like, get you. I just, I be having so much empathy for people like Chris Brown. I'm like, he hit the girl 40 years ago. Careful. Like, <laughs> leave, leave, <laughs> right, right, like, right, leave right. the man alone. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. What are y'all doing in the dark that is not public that you have moved on from. You know what I mean? So, yeah. like, I love me some Rihanna. I love her. I love her and ASAP. They are, like, couple goals. They're Ooh, so fly. I love that. I get it, but she's moved on. Yeah. He's lead a man alone. Why is that still attached to Chris Brown's name? Shouldn't mm-hmm. be. How, yeah. What else y'all she's want him to say? She's moved on and been friends with him what? and everything. And said, yeah. hey, and then had a baby and got her man and, yeah. you know, whatever. But yeah. I said that to say, it'll always be attached to my name and I'm okay with that. Mm. I'm okay with, because all of this... Let's try this again. Yep. God put me through Ooh, all let's that. Try this again. Let's, let's try this again. Let's try this again. That's exactly why we're here to one of the number one podcasts in the world. I know because that's Because right. I had to go through that to try again. My yeah. career is literally based on resilience. That's literally all my career is. I get pushed down. I get back up. I will always get back up. Y'all ain't going to... Is there a camera on? Mm. Y'all ain't never going to keep me down. Let me there tell you, you something. Go. Ever push me down, I'm gonna get up. Push me down 22, I'm gonna get up 23. Push me down 24, I'm gonna get up 25. You hear me? Let's yeah. try this again. I am resilient and yes. I'm a prime example of that. And um, I believe it's in all of us. Just I keep getting it. up, I keep getting it. up, and That's do what's it. right and take accountability. I, I made a whole video like, my bad, I didn't know the shit was stolen, yeah. but right. since it was, here's your money. I apologize. People ain't suing the janitor at McDonald's. They suing McDonald's. Yeah. Right. They not suing the cashier at McDonald's. They're suing McDonald's. That's right. So I'm the face of the brand. I take I take the punch for that. I'm gonna take it. Yeah. I'm gonna eat it like a G. We're gonna move on and make more money. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say that's <laughs> how you keep winning now. So you that's know? all that matters. Yeah. You so yeah. yeah. It's like it, it is what it is, but hell no. They ain't coming on my podcast. <laughs> that, that's, the, that's the answer. And they should not. Bye. And they should not. That was a mistake. No, no you, sorry. Just I, kidding. I cut that check. That was your blessing. Yeah. That's right. I that's love right. that. You know? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I, I'm proud of my resilience. I'm proud of what I've done. And, you know, shout out to to those girls. They're they're also content creators. So I'm being funny a little bit, but yeah. I am being real. Yeah. Um, you know, they're content creators, too. Nobody wants their stuff stolen. No. You know right. what I'm yeah. saying? And nobody wants that to happen, but it, it is what it is. And. You know, we passed that. That was fire. Yeah, let's yeah. try this well, again. Let's, let's try, try this again, again yeah. man. That's fire. Twenty twenty is amazing. <laughs> twenty twenty five. That's is. what it's Thank all you. about, man. We appreciate you sitting down no. with us once again. And you know, in the new year, you got to come back. What? I can't wait. What are we doing? Let's do something. Uh, let's Please. do something. Ain't let's nobody do here it. got a Twitch. Yeah, this Twitch thing. Twitch oh, is going yeah, crazy. I know. Yeah, I know. He's, yeah. He's too old for one. Yeah. It's an age Oh, I definitely got a Twitch account now. Come on now. I'm only twenty nine. You feel me? Times two. Okay, we're gonna get up out of here. Man, like that. That's right. I love Kyle. I wish a short man oh, on man. both oh, ends. No. <laughs> Rebuke. Rebuke. No. Rebuke. Please. Be Simone hanging uh, out with us on the morning hustle. Thank you so thank much. You. And good luck with everything you got moving thank forward. Thank you so much. For sure. Thank you. <laughs> we, we are.